guys, welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you an all new Osmo game called Coding with Obby. Now Obby is a character in the game that you control using coding blocks, which are included in the set here. Now the way it works is very interesting. First you need a base. Now this here is our iPad base, which will hold our iPad and demonstrate different features based on the game. So it uses the camera and whatever you put in front of it, it will show it to the character itself. So if I tell the character to move forward, left, and right using the buttons, it will demonstrate it into the character itself via the app. So it's a really unique concept which I'm excited to go ahead and try it out. And it really creates a new learning excitement that I've never seen before. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our box and as you can tell it's kind of very nice looking cover art. It does say that it's made for the iPad uh, and it's a coding game set and you can actually see the character here on the front and it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. You got the different buttons here where you press and then the character will move based on that. Now uh, if you flip it over here it talks about a little bit more in detail. It talks about the app itself and what's included including coding blocks as well as the app. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it kind of just slides out like so. There we go. And then you can actually see the different buttons right over here. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more. All right, so this here is our packaging underneath. And then on the side here, it does the coding. Almost looks like a book. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. Uh, just show on the back here, you know, there's a reflector. You use your iPad as well as a stand. And then the code blocks and how to like set it up. So uh, you go ahead and open this up just like that. And then here's our different blocks. Uh, these are actually made out of very nice material. Uh, and they actually, they're magnetic. So they do uh, clip together just like that. So let's go ahead and take everything out here. All right, so this here is everything that it comes with. Uh, we got a few different motions, so you can move left, forward, as well as right. Uh, this here is a jump button, and then here's a stop button. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, this here is a play button, and we got a few different numbers, as well as a cycle button. So let's go ahead and set everything up with the iPad and see how this all works out. All right, so I have my base right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And then let's go ahead and take this out. Now this here is the uh, reflector that goes on top of the iPad and then it just kind of slides in like that and then the reflector goes right over the camera so this will actually show what's below it for the uh, app to see and then we're all set so let's go ahead and load up the app and see how this all plays out. Okay so we're all set and ready to go so let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Like a little dog, a little panda, and a little turtle. That's our character, Obby, right there. Hmm, what's that? He says uh, he's gonna be looking for his friends. So I guess that's what we're gonna be doing in this mission. Oh, a rabbit. Okay, so rabbit just dropped a strawberry and just ran off. <laughs> All right. Hey, I guess we just won first level. <laughs> All right, go, Avi. <laughs> All right, so it looks like he wants us to go ahead and set this up here. So just to kind of give you an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera so you guys can see better. All right, so whatever's gonna be reflected on the right side of the screen is showing what's on the actual iPad itself. So it wants us to go ahead and put this first. So let's do that. And now it recognizes that and wants us to put the play button underneath it. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna hit that button. <laughs> That's so cool. So let's press that again. Hey, he's eating it. All right, so it looks like we have to go down. So we can actually rotate this. Oh, that's pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and make him turn that way again. Down. Oh, looks like I got something. Now this is telling us to add a number. I'm assuming this will move uh, an X amount of spaces. So if I do three and hit play. All right, sweet. Okay, uh, now it's telling us to select on that. Let's try that. 
looks like a bonus level or something. So let's click that. Oh, looks like we're planting seeds. All right, so there's some rainbow strawberries. I'll click on that. All right, so we're back up again. Uh, so let's go ahead and change this to up and then hit the play button. Right, play button. All right, so it wants us to go up in four spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the number four attached to it and then hit play. So it's actually a very unique idea, you know, kind of creates like a video controller for you. However, you have to design it yourself as you go. So let's try something wrong. For instance, uh, it's telling me to go right four spaces. I'm gonna hit up in four spaces. So the character like bounces back. So it kind of gives you an idea of what happens if you mess up. So let's go ahead, right and four. All right. Uh, let's go ahead, down and four. All right. So I got another seed. <laughs> okay, and let's go ahead and change this to one down. Hit play. Uh, we'll go right, I think it may be two, so let's try two. All right, got some more strawberries. All right, let's try that again. Oh, it's telling us to go up three, so let's try that. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the number once again. It's quite easy to do, you know, literally it takes a split second and then spinning it's quite easy as well. Ooh, a treasure chest. Uh, was somebody just drowning there? <laughs> uh, so let's go up two. All right, we got some more strawberries. Uh, then let's go right one, uh, up one, and then we'll go right one. Ooh, the dog. All right, so we got our first little friend right there. Uh, let's keep going right. Let's actually just make this better. What is going on there? Oh, I think we actually just finished the level. Hey! <laughs> so that was quite fun. Ah, oh, look at these. These are like, it looks like the world. So, got a lot of different levels here. So that's very nice. So let's go ahead and click that. Play. So it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, what is that telling us to do? It's telling me to point this way. Oh, so you can actually move the screen by touching it. So it kind of gives you an idea how many uh, spaces you need to move. So for instance, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna hit right and play. All right, and now this sign is telling us to go down five. Let's try one of these other features and see what happens. I'm not sure what that was. Looks like a, like a power up. Uh, this here's a jump button. Let's try that. Let's go down five while jumping. Oh, so he's actually jumping over them. I don't think that was a good idea. <laughs> oh, he just jumped in the water. Uh, then yeah, then you can actually recycle the different things. For instance, um, so let's make this more complicated. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move down one. And then after that, I'm gonna move left. Let's see if we can finish this here. One, two, three, four, five. So let's do that. There we go. And then we'll move down again. Looks like four, I guess we can do. And just see where this goes. Let's try this out. Let's see how good this thing works. All right, so down four. Oops, down one, sorry. Um, left one. Oh, it's reading the most recent on the top. So let's try this again. Uh, I'm gonna move left 
five and down four and see if that works. Five and then down four, there we go. Yeah, so it does the most, uh, the first step will be on the top and then it works all the way down. So in this which case he jumped four down, so he went in the water. Uh, so now it's telling us what to do. So it says down two and then one to the right. So let's change that. Down two and one to the right. So we can just do it like that. All right, so down two, one to the left, and let's add on another one just for fun. Uh, left to the, there we go. So we're gonna do down three and then five to the right. So hopefully this works. No idea if this will work, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out anyways. Down two. Whoops, I did that the wrong way. There you go. All right, he's continuing where he left off. Um, there you go. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> So you can go more than what it says. So that's pretty interesting. So it allows you to actually um, think about how you want to finish the level and the minimal amount of steps. All right, well, with that being said, I hope this kind of gives you an idea what Osmo Coding with Abby is about. Uh, it's actually a very unique concept. Uh, it does make you think a little bit more, especially it gives you the challenge of completing the level in the minimal amount of steps. And you can actually make this as big as you want it. So you can make it more creative uh, and it's very interesting, you know, how they designed this. Now, if you guys have any questions about this specific Osmo game, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.